Hello, this video is to show how to work with a CSV file. This video is applicable to all Bank2 converters, which is Bank2 QBO, Bank2 CSV, Bank2 OFX, Bank2 QAF, Bank2 QFX, Bank2 IAF. And also this video is applicable 100% to CSV2 converters, all of them. CSV to CSV, CSV to QBO, CSV to IAF, CSV to OFX, CSV to QFX, and CSV to IAF. What is CSV file? CSV file is comma separated value, and usually this is the simple table format. And it usually, if you look at text editor, it would look like this. Like every line, there is value separated by comma, and it could be maybe top, top uh, character or uh, semicolon, but mostly it's call a comma. And if your CSV file has the first line as column names, uh, this is huge help for the converter to figure out what your data is about. And if your CSV file does not have that first line as column names, uh, you, depending on the complexity of the file, converter may figure out what columns are, or you need to help it by doing mapping. But if you do have column names, 99% of cases would be uh, the, the converter would know what each column is about. And so this is the uh, this is sample CSV file. It has date, amount, pay. Well, let's switch to the spreadsheet form. That uh, looks like table. So this is simple table file where every column, every transaction takes one line, and every column represents certain field of the transaction. So in this case, would be first column is date, then amount. And PAE, memo, check number, uh, this optional column with type, and category, the optional column. So in this case, the converter, as you can see, the converter already mapped it automatically. Map the column, figure out that they were the date column, were the amount column, were the name column, were the memo column, check number column. Because of those column names, the converter map the file correctly. If you want to change, if you want to change how data is mapped, you can click review mapping and then start remapping your file. Uh, how the mapper works. So on the left part you have column assignments or field assignments and on the right part you have actual files shown to have to 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 allow you easily map the file so you can see this is date column uh, the column name date is date column name amount is amount and so on uh, so for example you could do you could say that name column would be memo column and memo column would be category column you could do that and so if you have more than one text column the converter may be confused which column to use let's say you have column name description and column name memo and column name reference then uh, or column name detail it would be hard for the converter because all those names are okay for memo uh, to be qualified for memo column so you have to decide yourself which column to use and the parts uh, the the mapper allows you to map up to two columns for for name and up to two columns for memo so sometimes you have data spread uh, more to more than one column and you want to combine it and you don't want to edit uh, edit csv file so the csv mapper allows you to do that combine those two columns and there is another option if you name your columns as memo 1 memo 2 memo 3 memo 5 up to memo 99 999 as long as number keep keep increasing 
the converter will see those numbers and will combine all those memo columns into one memo column but here in a memo you just have to specify memo one and the rest of columns will be combined so another thing uh, about amounts so CSV files may have different layouts for amounts what is different layouts for example you would have one amount column with plus uh, with positive and negative numbers and this is the easiest one then you would say this is the amount column and that's it but let's say you have debit and credit columns then you would have it uh, you don't have amount column but you have one debit column one credit column in this case you would say amount do not use and for deposits uh, select deposit column or debit uh, sorry the credit column and for withdrawal select debit column or withdrawal column and the last layout it understands let's let's say you have one amount column like this and then you have type column which says debit credit or dr cr things like that and so then you would say my amount column is the amount and my debit credit column is this column S what about other fields like balance column you, you if you have balance you can assign it and then the balance from that column will be used for the balance in the cubicle file if the balance is applicable for that format um, what else CSV Mumper allows you to do? So if you have multiple accounts in the same CSV file, but you have a column that's, that indicates which account is which, then you would use the account number column. Again, this is not a account to be used for the Cubo file, but the account to indicate multiple accounts specified in a CSV file same applies to account type if you have several accounts listed in the same csv file and then there is a column that says this is credit card transaction and that's column saying this is checking card transaction then you would you would use this assignment to specify the account type column and last group or next group is those are not th this account this this controls do not have a list of columns from your CSV file but they also can be part of your mapping so let's say you want to set the account type for this mapping you want to set the account type to be checking so when you use this mapping the account type here will be also set to check and or to credit card so you would have mapping for bank to one mapping for bank two or mapping for credit card so then you would select that mapping I show you later and then it will also set all these additional attributes as part of mapping so like output account ID output bank ID output branch ID output uh, this is uh, type of output uh, currency and so that's how it works and the last thing I want to mention is the splits so how splits are working uh, you could specify so splits are expected to be as additional columns so you have split one column split two column split one category column split two category column if you have let's say PayPal file you would have gross fee net if you have something like s uh, for example like payment processor file like uh, stripe or st square you would have uh, collected fees deposited so then you would say here that I have two splits and then you would specify which column is split one which column is split two and these are amounts columns and then another call if you have those if you 
so if you have one column for amount and another column for category and then so for the one split and for the second split you would have one column for amount and another column for category then you have to specify all these columns you may have let's say as paypal file you don't have category but you would have column name as you as expected so in this case would be fee column or cross column or net column so if you don't specify split category then name of the split one column will be used as category name and split two name of that column in this case would be fee would be used for the category so the, the that csv mapper provides flexible options for this uh, for the splits so now when you're ready make sure to enter mapping name to be something descriptive and so something like bank one bank check-in bank check-in then you save the mapping and then we'll see you see the mapping is listed here and so when you select this mapping it will be applied to that loaded csv file or next csv file you load and then all those parameters will be set as well for this part and if you want to switch to after mapping after mapping means uh, the parcel will try to figure out itself first and this is useful when you uh, have one mapping applied and you load in some file that is completely different structure and you see that the data doesn't look right so th the first side the first thing to do is to switch back to after mapping and then map the file again that new file to new layout